the son of the legendary Ronaldinho, signed a contract with Barcelona. This news literally broke the internet, and in this video we will tell you how good the young Brazilian is and what prospects he has to repeat his father's path. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and support us with a like. We are getting started. The first thing to deal with is the name of Ronaldinho's son. The boy's name is Joao de Assis Moreira, but he's better known as Joao Mendes. He turns 18 in February 2023 and a contract with Barcelona is a great coming-of-age present. But let's roll back a little and talk about the football path of Ronaldinho Jr. Lil Joao first became interested in football at the age of 4, and at 10 he entered the first academy in his life. It was the academy of Flamengo Club. Later, he attended the academies of Vasco da Gama and Boa Vista. However, only at the age of 13, he connected his life with the football club for a long time. This club was Cruzeiro. In 2018, he came there for a trial and successfully passed it. Later, in 2019, he signed his first professional contract. There is a great story that speaks volumes about Joao's personality. The fact is that he never tried to use his father's name to get in. When the boy arrived for a trial at Cruzeiro, no one at the club knew that he was Ronaldinho's son. Even though he is Ronaldinho's kid, Joao Mendes did his trial without telling anyone who his dad is. On his own merit, with his own talent, the man passed his trial and only afterwards did he mention his parentage. Club officials commented. Thus, Ronaldinho Jr. signed a six-year contract with Cruzeiro and began playing for youth teams of various age categories. However, the club and the player decided to terminate the deal in February 2022, after almost four years of cooperation. So, before going to Barcelona for a trial, Joao Mendes had no club for almost a whole year. Probably the guy trained to stay fit on his own. You might be wondering how a player with no playing time was able to get a trial at such a big club. And taking into account the fact that Ronaldinho is currently working as an ambassador in Barca, it's quite logical to assume that it was the father who helped reach an agreement for his son to stay in the capital of Catalonia. It is quite easy to believe this theory, but we also know the opposite story about Cruzeiro, which we have already mentioned. Moreover, Barcelona have been showing interest in Mendes since 2020, so let's just wait a while and see how Joao will be performing for his new club. Following the news of Joao's trial at Barcelona's academy, reports began to emerge that the lad was not impressing the coaches. Even President Joan Laporta was quite wary of signing a contract with the boy, despite his excellent relationship with Ronaldinho. After all, Ronaldinho himself confirmed the information that the contract with his son will be signed. Yes, he is coming now. Barcelona is part of life. Wherever I go, I take Barcelona with me. With the arrival of my son at Barca, I'll be more present than ever, Ronaldinho told Marca. And although the signing of the contract was not officially announced, the words of the club ambassador Ronaldinho himself can be believed. And now, let's see what kind of player Barcelona signed in the name of João Mendes. It is worth starting with the fact that the boy plays in the center-forward position. He can also play as a central attacking midfielder. Yes, Joao is different from his father in many ways and doesn't play as a winger like Ronaldinho. But there are objective reasons for this. The first is the player's height. According to the information you can find on the internet, Joao is 178 centimeters tall. These data have long been out of date. Ronaldinho's height is 182 centimeters, and if you look at this photo, his son has already surpassed his father. It would be fair to assume that Joao's height at the moment is at least 185. This shouldn't be surprising because the boy is growing, and even now he probably has not reached his limit. So height is one of the reasons why Ronaldinho Jr. plays in the center of the attack. Second, even from the few available game shots of Joao, it can be said that his strengths are not the same as his father's. Of course, the guy has decent dribbling and turns on Jogo Bonito mode from time to time. But this is far from what Ronaldinho performed at Camp Nou. He is a promising player with an interesting style. I believe it won't take too long for him to go pro. He's really athletic and he has great technique. He can play both the striker and center attack in midfielder positions. He's tall, but he can run. He can put it in the back of the net too. 
Amarildo Ribeiro, his coach at Cruzeiro, said about João. One of Ronaldinho Jr.'s greatest virtues is his ability to play equally well with both his legs. According to various videos, it is tough to understand which leg is his strong one because he's excellent with both left and right. Just because Zhao takes free kicks and uses his left foot for dribbling a little more often, you can say that he is left-footed. For opponents, playing against two-footed player is always an additional headache. Zhao is an athletic player. Zhao stands out for his size and is always easy to spot on the pitch. In addition, he has the potential to improve his physical conditions. If you compare Zhao with one of the players, another Brazilian and Barcelona legend, Rivaldo comes to mind. Also tall, played mostly in the center, but at the same time with good technique and incredible flexibility. Among modern football players, he can be compared, for example, to Cody Hatpo. For Brazilian football players, the development of technique and agility through other games with the ball is illustrative. Ronaldinho JR is no exception. There are videos of him playing futsal, tennis with his father and beach, volleyball without using his hands. This helped him improve his ball control significantly. Zhao's strong point is also his shooting ability. He likes to shoot from different positions and can score from outside the penalty area. His play style gives the impression that a long-range shot is one of the favorite options when choosing a continuation attack scenario. And the fact that he has an equally good shot from both feet only adds to his unpredictability. It is clear that if you have a good shot, you must develop your free kicks. And Ronaldinho Jr. is working on it. He is not shy to take responsibility and is always willing to perform a free kick. Joao is constantly aiming for the goal. It can be said that he is a much more pragmatic player than his father. The guy having received the ball immediately scans the space in front of him and looks for opportunities to break into free zones. As a result, he often catches opponents by surprise, and his speed, data and power make him an up-and-coming center forward. Of course, any player has work to do, especially a young one like Joao. The two main elements we can highlight are the first touch and the heading. A solid first touch is a must for a center forward, often making the difference between a good striker and a top one. Well, improving heading accuracy is necessary for versatility. Considering Joao's size, this will make him a much more competitive player. Boy has big shoes to fill. Excited to see him make a name for himself? This gentleman on Twitter perfectly describes the emotions of the news about a 17-year-old boy signing by Barcelona. And what do you think? Friends, write in the comments if you want Ronaldinho Jr. to break into Barcelona's first team and repeat or even surpass his father's success. Also, be sure to watch other videos from our channel. Those are now on your screens.